Latinos in America. I'm here with Mercedes Stevenson, who is one of many Latinos in America. Throughout her life being a Latino, she had found many struggles. Discrimination, racial discrimination, economic discrimination, language uh, barriers, uh, poverty, lack of jobs, lack of appropriate housing, lack of medical care. There are many challenges. Not only did she have to go through these challenges, but a downside for her was her family. Uh, the downside is probably the first two or three years when you really miss your family. So you end up leaving your family, and that's, uh, that's a downside. Unless you bring your family, and that's why immigrants bring their families. You always miss your, you know, your loves. Although there were downsides, she did experience some benefits. The benefit is that you obviously uh, experience a, a, diff, uh, a different culture and you are able to use elements of your native culture and then acquire new facets of life that you never knew existed, like you celebrate more holidays, you make uh, different friends. Even with benefits, she had to go through the long transition of applying for residency and citizenship. And I applied for residency, and then after five years of residency, then I applied for citizenship. Although there have been continuous gains, the quest for full and equal inclusion remains. The fact that the Latino population continues to grow in the numbers. I'm Ariana Arias, and this is the Webster Journal.